Hey everyone, uh, Kara here. Some of you already know my story, um, and some of you this is the first time you're going to hear about it, um, but I want to make sure that uh, it doesn't get lost. The more I share it, the more um, people know about it, uh, the more that I can inspire someone and they can inspire me. So um, just a little bit of history, I was very active in high school. Um, I was also very skinny. Um, up until I graduated high school, I could eat anything I wanted, and I ran around. I did everything. I played basketball and volleyball and ran track. Um, going into college, I became very sedentary. I lived on campus, so I didn't have to walk far to my classes, um, and I was eating a lot. I was still eating, um, you know, two and three portion sizes of food. I would clean my plates when I went out to restaurants, and... In college, I met my future husband, and we went out to eat. We went out to eat a lot, um, and so the pounds just started packing on. I lost a little bit of weight to get married, um, but then just a year after getting married, um, we started having kids. So uh, I had both my sons um, within 18 months of each other, and by the time I um, had my second son, I weighed 315 pounds, um, and I was very sedentary. I maybe walked the dog, maybe walked the kids to the park, um, but just to sit on a bench. Um, and honestly, that is what was missing. Um, I, I felt like there was something um, that was missing in my life, and that was being active. Um, so it took, it took a little while, but um, two years ago, um, just before I turned 30, my sister and I um, tried out for The Biggest Loser. Uh, and it was on the drive to that, ex to the experience of the casting call, um, that we decided we were not going to allow our 30s to pass us up. Um, and so if we didn't get picked for the show, we made the decision to go figure out a way to get to The Biggest Loser Resort in Malibu, California. Um, just a few months later, it was my 30th birthday, and my husband gave me the gift of two weeks. Two weeks to lay down the foundation for the rest of my life. Um, my sister and I went together. She also had a significant amount of weight to lose. Um, and it started two years ago. Uh, I was at 280 pounds at that point, um, but I was still a size 22, um, sluggish, no energy, um, and at the Biggest Loser Resort, which is just like the show, we worked out for six hours a day, um, a variety of things. So we, the whole point is that they want to give you the experience of hiking, gym time, outdoor work, uh, swimming. They want you to experience everything so that you can find what it is that you want to do. Um, we, we started our blog while we were there uh, called Fat Chances, and Fat Chances gave us the opportunity to write about our experience and to share about our experience, what it was that we found was holding us back from finding our true potential. And it was also our, our source of accountability. Our friends and our family were watching us go through this and there was no going back. We were not losing weight to gain it back. We were losing weight to lose it forever. And so we laid down the foundation, came home, we found trainers to work with. And, um, it was at that time that I told my trainer that a big dream of mine was to run a marathon. And he said, then you will. And at 230 pounds, uh, I ran my first half marathon, the U S half marathon here in San Francisco. Um, and I became addicted. I loved it. And I continue to run to this day. And, um, it's a huge part of what I do along with turbo fire and T25. Um, I have to go for a run. It's become, um, that thing that I was looking for and I am so glad I found it. And I'm so glad that my life has completely changed. Um, and that I've chosen the fit life. Happiness.